we present The Storm, adapted from his own novel by H.L.V. Fletcher. Put your cup of tea. Oh, I can do with it. By gosh, it's bitter cold. I'll drink this and I'll go and milk Daisy. That's a great fire we've got going. Got oh, plenty of wood cut, I hope. Logs, any amount we got. Oh, we're going to need them. The snow coming at last. I've been waiting for it all day. Sky gray as slit. It's been dark since dinner time. Oh, threatening since the new year, the snow. We'll have good measure now. I wish Father was home from town. Oh, he'll be all right, don't you fret. The valley roads fill up so quickly. Oh, have some more tea, Jacob. Uh, uh, half a cup. Plenty of sugar. That's a good gal. Where's the paper? Oh, here. Father's bringing today's. But now I have the news up to date instead of yesterday's paper by post. Anything more about that actress woman that was murdered? Mm, no, except that they're looking for her husband, a Mr... Oh, what is it? It's on this page somewhere. Ah, yes. Mr. James Romford Smith. Well, why is she called Miss Carrington if she's married to him? Selma Carrington was a stage name. Oh. She's a wonderful actress. Was she now? Seen her act a few times. A lot of her films. Well, well. Uh... And her husband goes and sticks a knife in her. Well, it doesn't say he killed her. Well, who else could have killed her? Read what it says. Oh. Where is it? Ah, oh, yes. The police are anxious to discover the whereabouts of Miss Carrington's husband, Major James Romford Smith. There. If he hadn't done it, why are the police looking for him? It says they were married soon after the war. He lost a hand in a commando raid on a village in Norway, escaped by stabbing some German sentries, was given the MC and made much of. Oh, really quite a hero. Yeah, he got in the habit of stabbing, it seems. Seconded to the war office, believed to be MI5. Well, that means spy. I'm not all that, he got <laughs> And took no part in his wife's theatrical activities. That's about it. Oh, it doesn't sound the kind of man who'd stab his wife. Can't say, see. Trash this old lucky not. <laughs> well, I better go and milk. Here's your dad coming. Huh? Look, through the window. Oh, that's a relief. Oh, he's walking, too. He's had to leave the car. Oh, someone with him. It isn't anybody I know, Zena. By gosh, the snow's coming thick now. See you later. Very well, Jacob. Molly. We have? This is Mr. Uh, Mr. James, isn't it? How do you do, Mr. My James? daughter Molly. How do you do? Got off the junction by mistake. Mm -hmm. Walking to Llanithan. Can't do that trip tonight, so I said he'd better stop here. Of course. Come over by the fire. No, I'm not cold. Our walk warmed me. Come on, sit down. Make yourself at home. Thank you. I'm terribly sorry to intrude on in you like this. Oh, you're not intruding, man. Anybody up here would take you in. It's 12 miles to Llanithan. We'd have been digging you out of a drift in a couple of days if you'd gone on. See, I had an idea I had to change at Newpool. When I found there wasn't a train, I decided to walk. But it's 20 miles from Newpool to Llanithan. Oh, yes, well, I'm used to walking. Not in the snow. No, I, I wasn't sorry when you offered me a lift. Well, we're glad to have you. I can go in the morning. We'll have to see what the snow's like. You expect it anywhere? No, not immediately. There's a telephone in the post office, oh, sir. Oh, yes, that's all right. Good. Because <laughs> it's in the post office kitchen. And they sit there and listen to all you say. <laughs> oh, uh, Mr. James knows the district, Molly. Oh, really? Well, only in a general way. I was at Lathnithan during the war, training. I see. Oh, Father, did you do all the shopping? Yes, I carried it up from the Powell's in a sack. It's in the hall. And did you get the battery for the radio? Uh, Joan said he'd bring one on Saturday. Uh, Saturday, but this one's nearly finished. Ah, well, keep it for the news, then. Well, I feel a bit warmer. I'd better go out and see if Jacob's done everything. Make yourself at home, Mr. James. Oh, thank you. Father, you're cold. Oh, and he catches cold so easily. Oh, I, I brought you some tea. Hmm? Oh, yes, thank you very much. It's very kind of you. Look, I, I really am very sorry to impose on you like this. You know, you and your father are very kind. Oh, anybody up here would give you hospitality. 
It, it's a very isolated district, these hills between the two towns. Only a few scattered farms. Oh, but then you'll, you'll know that if you trained here during the war. We get a lot more snow than they do lower down. Would I be able to leave in the morning? Well, that depends. I really can't say. Oh, you must be hungry. Well, supper won't be long. Oh, thank you. My father will show you where everything is. Oh, no, I'll be all right. And th there are some books over there and, and the papers on the chair beside you. It's only yesterday's, I'm afraid. We have it by post. Thank you. And, and I'm sorry you can't use the radio. It's the battery's practically oh, no, flat. Oh, that's all right. Well, uh, are you quite sure you're warm enough? Oh, yes, yes. It's, uh, it's a lovely fire. Well, uh, I'll be in the kitchen just, just through here if you want me. Famous actress... Murdered. Oh, God. Ah, here we are. Oh, uh, this is Mr. James Jacob. Oh, how do you do? Oh, pretty meeting. Thank you, sir. All things considered, and this cold snap coming? Molly! Coming! Stop for in a moment, all of you. The snow's blowing off the yard. Drift starting everywhere. Well, I hope it doesn't snow for long. Only the Almighty to know, and he won't tell. Might be days, might be weeks. The way with weather, it's like your looks. You've got to take what comes. But don't you worry about the snow. It melts. We get severe storms up here in the hills at times, Mr. James. <laughs> Sometimes they become quite historic. Well, I hope this one won't make history. And I says amen to that. Well, here we are. Supper's ready. Good. Come along. Sit here, Mr. James. <clears throat> well, uh, um, potatoes, Mr. James? Oh, oh, yes, thank you. Well, this is our own Welsh lamb, Mr. James. Your hand cold? Hand? Uh, oh, this. Oh, you haven't taken your glove off. Uh, well, as a matter of fact, it isn't a hand. Oh. Be quiet, man. He will ask questions. Oh, no, no, no. That's quite all right. I lost my hand in the war. In the war? Mm. I forget about it, you know. Ah. <laughs> I'm afraid you have to put up with Jacob. He's curious as a magpie. Ask nothing, learn nothing. The nearest I got to the war was being home guard. I got a medal for that and deserved it. I had lumbago twice. <laughs> you enjoyed that little kipper? No, it got too strenuous for me. Did you get today's paper in town, boss? Damn, I left it in the car. Well, never mind. We'll get one in tomorrow's post. Hmm. That's what you think. Look at it out there, piling up. One day's paper's much the same as another to us up here, Mr. James. Oh, yes. I wanted to know if they found the man who murdered that woman. What woman? That actress woman that was stabbed. You know, uh, I can't remember the name. Uh, something. Uh, uh, what was it, Miss Molly? Thelma Carrington. Oh, uh, yes. They're looking for the husband. No, they haven't caught him yet. Oh, right smart piece he was. But one's the same as another to me. All cuts is grey in the twilight. I suppose she'd be a great loss to the stage. No, oh, I don't remember ever seeing her. Yes, of course you've seen her father. The summer hmm? before last. When we were at Stratford. Where? Yeah. Mariah in Twelfth Night. So we did. I didn't really think a lot of her. Not her part, perhaps. Have you seen Miss Carrington, Mr. James? A few times. Did you know she'd been murdered? Oh, yes, I heard. Well, who on earth would want to kill a lovely creature like that? Yes. She's very beautiful. What's that? Oh, oh no, nothing. Seen any of her films? Uh, no, I'm not fond of films. I like a cowboy film myself with red Indians. <laughs> hmm? Mm. Oh, what are you looking so thoughtful about, Molly? Oh, nothing. No, I, I was thinking how, how silly we were not to get in more cylinders of gas before the snow started. Morris will get it up here somehow. Well, if we run out, we'll have no lights. Well, Miss Owens, the shop haven't got much paraffin. She was expecting the van to come. We'll back. have to make some candles, like my grandparents used to. They used uh, rush lights usually, Mr. James. And... They used them economically, too. They went to bed early. Everybody had big families in those days. What's that got to do with it? Big families went out when the big lights came in. Oh, don't take any notice of it. And I shan't get to bed myself unless I finish supper and go home. And you weren't looking all that fresh, young man. Yes. I am very tired. Look, would you mind if I did go to bed? Of course not. We'll all make an early night of it. Come along. I I'll show you up to your room. Thank you. Well, I say good night then. Oh, thank you, Miss Mosley, for an excellent meal. Good night, Mr. James. Well, I'd better be going, Miss Wally. Was it? Oh, yes, yes. Yes, yes, Jacob. See you in the morning. Nice chap, isn't he? Well, how 
visitor was tired. He won't lie awake long. Uh, I'm quite sleepy myself. Oh, no, no, Father, don't make up the fire yet. I have some mending to do before I go to bed. Don't wait for me if you want to go. I think I'll have a drink first. Where's the paper? Yesterday's paper is on the chair beside you. Hmm. It isn't here. Well, I put it there. Did Jacob have it? Well, no, I'm sure he didn't. I wouldn't put it past him to take it home if there was anything in it he fancied reading. No, he didn't touch it tonight. Well, it must be somewhere. Oh, you've moved it yourself. I haven't even seen it. Wait, I'll come and look. Oh, don't bother. I'll have a whiskey. All right, I'll get it for you. Brrr, it's cold away from the fire. I asked Mr. James to have one, but he said no. There's an innocent if you like. You're going to walk to Llanithan. We'd have been digging him out of a drift in about three weeks' time. Weeks? Hmm. Is it going to be as bad as that? Oh, thank you. Ah, that'll warm me up a bit. Yes, it's been building up for this snow. <laughs> that young man imagines he's going on tomorrow. Oh, she would. Hmm? Don't you like him? Father, I don't even know him. I'll tell you one thing. I don't think James is his real name. But he told you it was. Hmm. In the car, when I said he'd have to come home with me. But there was a sort of pause before he said it. I wonder if James is his first name. Father, why not ask him? Oh, I don't think it's important. But it could be important. Look, girl, he's going to be here for days. Let's not turn him into a mystery. We're worse than Jacob. He says he's Mr. James... And that's good enough for me. Well, I like to know a bit about people if they're staying with us. He's probably a prince in disguise, come to seek your hand in marriage. And if he were, he could have my consent. Oh, please, Father. Well, he's better than that Tom Morgan, anyhow. Well, Tom Morgan's the same as you. He even went to college. What's wrong with him? Oh, I don't like him. Well, I don't expect he likes you. Now, look oh, here, my girl. silly to quarrel so late. Let's have a quarrel in the morning, then we can make it last all day. Are you going to marry Tom Morgan? He hasn't asked me. Suppose he did. Well, then I'd have to think about it, wouldn't I? He's the wrong Look, sort of Look, I'm you, going Molly. to mix you another drink, then you can tell me who you saw in town, and then we'll go to bed, right? Where's the boss, Miss Molly? <laughs> Jacob. He's by the fire dozing. I think he's caught a bit of cold. I warned him yesterday not to stand about after sweating. I managed to keep him in since dinner. Where's the other chap? He'll help. Mr. James? He's gone up to his room. Nice gentleman, isn't he? Is he? Oh, I wish he hadn't come here. Well, never mind about him. Tom Morgan's in the barn. Tom? Well, why doesn't he come to the house? He says he's mucky. Been out since breakfast. They've got sheep lost any amount. Yeah, awful. And who's your dad here in the kitchen, too? All right, well, I'll put a coat on and go out. I'll make tea when I come back. All right. Tom! Tom! Molly, here I am in the barn. Why didn't you come in, Tom? I'm not fit for company. Oh, isn't it cold? Somewhere it's warm, then. <laughs> Tom, don't you ever shave? No time for shaving, weather like this. No. Come here. No, 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 Tom, not again. No weather like this isn't the time for kissing either. Come inside, I'll make you some tea. No, I've got to go home. I couldn't pass without a word. You're very busy. You're telling me. I don't know where half the stock is. You've got a visitor. Yeah, that's what Jacob said. My father picked him up from out of Newport, didn't he? Who is he? His name's Mr. James. That's all we know. Except that he was in the war and lost a hand. Nice for you to have company. I don't like him. Good. No, I mean it. I do, too. <laughs> Good-looking chap in the house. You don't know what'll happen. Well, come in, then you'll meet him. Ah, no time, girl. I shall have to go. I don't want to. It's right up to the eyes of it. Oh, now. don't go for a minute. I don't want to. I'd like to stop here all night, Molly. Oh, no. Tom, please be serious for a minute. What's the matter with you? Look, have you listened to the wireless today? Wireless talk sense. What time would we have? Well, that, yeah, I thought for weather reports. Weather well, reports, my foot. My father says there's more snow in the way, and that's good enough for us. He can smell the snow. You haven't seen a paper? Not since Sunday. Well, have you heard of Thelma Carrington? The film star? Yes. 
I've heard her. I've seen her in a couple of films. Oh, she's dead. Oh, is she? I thought she was young. Murdered. It's in yesterday's paper. Murdered? Stabbed. And Tom. Tom, listen, that that man, Mr. James, we've got stopping here. I think he's her husband. What? But her name isn't James. I've seen her married name. I can't remember something fancy. It's Romford Smith. Her husband's name is James Romford Smith. Well, he's missing. The police want him. Get away. Where'd you get all this from? It doesn't it fit in? Mr. James, James Romford Smith, and he lost a hand in the war. It said so in the paper. Yes. Well, when uh... Father brought him home, we, we had a paper with an account of Thelma Carrington's murder, all about her and her husband. Well, last night we couldn't find it. So what? But Mr. James had been by himself in the kitchen looking at the papers. Well? Oh, use your head, Tom. He could have destroyed it so we couldn't read about oh, him. Oh, Molly. But another thing. The wireless battery wasn't quite run down yesterday. There was enough left to hear the news for days. Well, this morning, the set had been switched on and the battery was flat. Someone's always leaving the wireless switched on. Somebody could have come down and switched this one on in the night. Oh, talk sense. You were always a great one for making up stories. Well, all right, I'm imagining it. But there's one more thing. When I made his bed this morning, I saw initials on his pajamas. They were J.R.S. Well, now what you say? He could have borrowed it. Oh, Tom, please, don't make fun. Well, taken all around, I suppose... It sounds queer. Jacob said he was a real nice chap. Jacob would say the devil was a nice chap if he helped him with his work and gossiped a bit. No, no, there's, there's something odd about this man. He, he's quiet and distant. Oh, I can't explain. Oh, it sounds a bit like he could be the man. What are you going to do? Well, that's what I was going to ask you. Well, I can't do anything. Don't get away. That's one thing. Not in this weather. But he's here. He's in our house. He'll have to stay for, for, for days, maybe for weeks. Well, don't let on what you suspect. But can't you see? I, I, I don't want him here. Tom, I'm frightened. Ah, you've got nothing to be afraid well, of. Well, he stabbed one woman. He wouldn't stab you. How do you know what he'd do? Does your father know what you think? No, I can't tell him. He's sickening for one of his chills. Besides, he'd either laugh at me or tackle Mr. James right out, and goodness knows what had happened then. Your father can look after himself. Look, I'm on my own, can't you understand? I'm terrified of him. Look, you only got to wait till the weather breaks. I can't wait. Oh, Tom, won't you do something? What can I do? Well, couldn't you get down to Newpool? What, in this weather? It doesn't let Sergeant Lewis know. Talk sense, girl, it'll take a day. You know the way we're fixed. Oh, yes, your sheep, I forgot. They lost any amount, hundreds of them in drifts. We've been looking all afternoon. We didn't find 20. Snow comes, we don't know where to hunt. Everybody's in the same fix. They're too busy to help. All right. You're too busy. Can I help it, Molly? You know how it is with sheep lost in the snow. We'll be at it every hour. There's light. Oh, it's all right. You can't help. I can see that. Look, now. This chap isn't nasty or anything. Of course not. Not in any danger. I'll tell you what, why don't you run down to the post office, telephone Sergeant Lewis and tell him what you told me. The police couldn't get here. You thought I could get there? They'd come some way. They wanted to come. I wonder. Wouldn't do any harm. I suppose I could just tell him. Oh, that's Jacob calling. I'll have to go. Got a kiss for me, quick. He's coming here. I'm here, Jacob, in the barn. It isn't easing up a bit, is it? You two cuddling in there? I'm coming. Oh, don't feel the cold when they're young. Not with a girl in a barn. Your dad's woke up and Mr. James is with him. I boil the kettle. Oh, Jacob, will you tell them I'll be in to make tea in a minute? I, I want to run down to the post office to telephone. Telephone? Yes. It's, it's about those gas cylinders. Telephone? But you can't. Why not? The telephone line's down. Broke. <sighs> Great piece of tree fell across it over by Little Hall. Oh, no. Oh, stuck. We are no post, no paper, no wireless, no telephone. Better if we went to bed for a fortnight. Are you staying here, Tom Morgan, for some tea? Oh, I'm going home. Good night, Molly. Tom, please. Good night. Now we're all by ourselves. Nasty cough, Mr. Mosley. Yes, my chest is sore. Oh, there's a bottle of cough mixture in the cupboard, Father. You better have some. I'll fetch it. Now, you go to bed and I'll bring it up to you. Yes, I think I will. 
Good night, Mr. James. Good night. Look, uh, to let me help you with the dishes. No, no, please, now, please, I, can't, I can't, can't just sit about. Come on. Oh, yes, I'm marvelous at wiping up. I can hold anything with this hand of mine. You worried about your father? No. No, no, but he's careless, you know. Getting hot and then standing to get cold in a northeast wind. He had bronchitis last winter, then a nearly pneumonia. Yes, he ought to have a doctor, really. But I, I don't think a doctor could, could get here, even if we could send for him. Yeah, it's awkward. No, I'll, I'll keep him in bed for a few days. Oh. oh. Damn, I've broken the plate. Look, I'm most awfully sorry. <laughs> Never mind. It's an old one. Do you know? What? First time I've heard you laugh since I came here. You almost smiled yourself. Well, come along and have, have some of Father's whiskey. Uh, help yourself. Oh, thanks. You having one? No, thank you. What's it like outside? Like, I can't see out. There's, there's ice on the window. Ice? Well, this room's hot. No, not, not near the glass. It's a clear night. I can see some stars. Must be freezing very hard. Freezing? All right, I think I'll go on tomorrow. Think you go? Mm, uh, well, I don't want to trespass on your hospitality as long as I can help. <laughs> You're welcome to stay. No, I really think I should move on. You know, you have an awful job. I don't think you understand what it's like. Well, now it's freezing. It'll be easy. Well, have you ever traveled through snow? Mm, once in Norway. Well, far? No, not far. Well, it won't be the same. There won't be a frozen crust not after only one night's frost. You'll go through all the time. I'll manage. Look, you're taking an awful risk. Well, I'll start early. Do you know the road? Well, I know the way I want to go. Well, remember, I learned this area pretty thoroughly during the war. Most of the landmarks will be hidden. The hills stay. What time do you want to leave? Uh, as soon as it's light enough. Uh, shall I pack some food for you? Oh, that's good of you. I've got iron rations in my pack. Look, you could, uh, you could just leave it here on no, the table. No, 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 I'll, I'll be up. I'll, I'll get you some breakfast before you go. Well, uh, I'll say good night, then. Look, I, I want to thank you. No, please, don't. Good night. Good night, Mr. James. Oh, dear. I don't know. Oh, I say, I, I think I've overslept. Well, there wasn't any point in my calling you. Up through the window. Hmm? Oh, it's snowing again, damn. Well, I'll, I'll have to put up with it. I must make a start. Go to the door and look at it. Blizzard. You can't go out in that. But it may not last. It must have been coming down for hours. Well, I've a good mind to chance it. Look, Mr. James, you must do what you like, but I can tell you this, if you do start, you won't go a mile. I'm sorry. Oh, but it can't be helped, can it? You are anxious to leave, aren't you? Yes, yes, I am. Oh, by the, by the way, how's your father this morning? Oh, he hasn't had a very good night. Oh, is he worse? No, no, oh, no, I, I, I don't think so. He says his temperature's down. Have you taken it? No, he won't have a thermometer in the house. He says if we had one, I'd always be taking his temperature. Oh, there's something in that. No, he's, he's promised to stay in bed today. Look here. Are you really anxious about your father? No, no, not, not really, but I just wish it hadn't happened now. It's, it's this sort of thing that makes you feel so isolated. Here's your tea. Hmm? Oh, yes, thank you. Look, I, I think I, I'll take father up a cup and, and make a fire in his room. But, well, the, the lights have gone out. Well, what's happened to it? Yes, the gas cylinder's finished. Well, have you another? No. Well, what do you do now? Oh, we'll have to manage with a paraffin lamp as long as we can get paraffin and then candles as long as we can get candles. So can you manage with the firelight until I come down? We may as well save what we can. Poor old Jacob, he was quite glad to go home and he doesn't usually give in. No, he, he really felt the cold today and he's, he's red to it. I should have gone this morning. I, I should have gone. Oh, I wish I had something to do. Look, it's snow. I feel imprisoned, shut in. Look, 
Why don't you go up and talk to my father for a bit? Well, I don't... No, take some coal up for the fire, and, and if he doesn't seem too tired, you could stay a while. Oh, that's a good idea. Brought some coal for your fire. Oh, thanks. Nice to see you, Mr. James. Well, now, how do you feel now? Your heart is aching a bit, but I think I've got it in time. Well, you're in the best place. So Molly tells me, but I'd sooner freeze outside than swelter in. <laughs> We're never satisfied. I'll be out in a day or two. Well, don't rush it. Sit down a while. Oh, well. <laughs> <coughs> I mustn't stay too long. I, I'll tire you. Oh, I'm glad to have a gossip. You know, it's funny the way things work out. I married a local girl, Molly's mother. When she died, I wanted to get away. Packed up the farming, let the land, and so on. Mm. I meant to leave, but my heart was here. Yes, I know what you mean. You see it as a good place to get away from, but, but it grows on you. The hills and all that. Mm. Mm, I'll die here. Uh, oh, well, not for a long time. I hope not. Uh, still, worries me a bit sometimes. What does? Dying. Oh, now, don't be ridiculous. I mean, on Molly's account, what's going to happen to her? Well, what should happen? I mean, she's happy here, isn't she? Of course, but it's not much of a life for her. And uh, lying here today, it's been on my mind. Ah, well, when you're a bit out of sorts, anything worries you. I had her properly educated, thought she'd get a job somewhere, but she insisted on coming home <laughs> to look after me. Mm. Oh, we, we have holidays. Uh, I've taken her abroad and all that, but we come back and... There's nothing for her here. Well, as long as she's contented. Nothing at all. She never meets anybody worth meeting. Oh, one day she'll meet somebody, get married. And then you will have something to grumble about. Oh, I wouldn't grumble. But who's she going to marry? Some farmer's son who'll turn her into a common drudge. You don't want her to marry a farmer? Not the ones I know. Ah, I should imagine you've got a particular one in mind. Hmm. That could be. Oh, they're, they're fine chaps in their own way, but... She doesn't understand. Well, leave it to her good taste. When women fall in love, they haven't any taste. Uh, is she in love? I wouldn't know. At her age, it's easy to imagine you are. Uh, well, I know nothing about your daughter's affairs, but uh, I think you're upsetting yourself for nothing. I suppose you're right. I must take her away when the spring comes for a really long holiday. Yeah, sounds a good idea. You're not married yourself. No, I was. Oh, I... I thought I heard you tell Jacob you're single. Ah, yes, I, I, I didn't want to talk about it. Uh, I beg your pardon. I wasn't trying to no, be no, curious. No, no particular secret. My wife is dead. Oh, I'm very sorry. No, please don't mistake me. It wasn't a very successful marriage. It's over now. I'm sorry if I brought up something you want to forget. Oh, yes. It's all over. Mm. Have a look at the weather, will you? Mm. You know, it looks about the same to me. Can't see 50 yards, like a mist. Mm, it'll probably go on all night. You think so? Mm, it's largely a matter of wind. As long as it stays in this quarter, we shan't get much change. Could you put a bit more coal on the fire? Yes, certainly. The room will get like an icebox if it gets too low. Yeah. Now, how about a nap? I might. Good. Now, I'll just go down. I promise to do a few jobs for Jacob. Come up again. Mm, certainly will. Oh, dinner over again. Life's just a field of snow these days with meals dotted in it. Ten days of it we've had. Seems like a year. I thought the boss was going to come down for an hour. Yes, but he didn't want to after all. Jacob, I wish he'd start getting better. So do I, girl. So do I. You could only get some medicine, you know, something like M and B. Or... I could remember all my Kelly Vans used to cure with a Bible and a key. You really ought to have a doctor. Wonderful job, all my girl. Dead these 20 years, you'll be. Well, he's not much help then, is he? Oh, where's Mr. James? In the barn. You like him better now? Oh, I don't know. He's very good. Could have played him when he came, could you? Well, she never had come. He's all right. Proper nice chap. But I don't know what's got into him these days. He's making something. What? Tennis bats, it looks like. Here he is coming now. Oh, hello. Look, is there any very strong twine? Yes, I, I, I think there's a ball of it in oh, the straw. Good, good, good. I'll grease it, but it must be strong. Yes, it is. Fine. Jacob says you're making tennis rackets. Well, that's what they look like. Rackets, that's right. We'll, we'll play with snowballs. Well, what are they? Well, you wouldn't tell me. No, I wouldn't tell you, because you're so inquisitive as usual. 
They're snowshoes. Snowshoes? Don't look like any shoes I ever saw. What are they for? Walking on snow. You couldn't walk on them things. You'd be surprised. You can get over deep stuff in them without going through. It is natural. I'll get round on my own two feet as long as I'm able. Fast chairs you'll be making next. Have you ever used them before? Mm, a few times. As soon as you finish, the snow will go as likely as not. Then a thaw and water everywhere. Better if he was making bedding draws. Or an Ozark. Oh, one thing at a time. I'd better get back. Unless old Pharaoh here can think of some other task for me. <sighs> old Pharaoh would like a nap. And you have one, Jacob. Oh, I'll go and split some fire first. Have a nap before tea, perhaps. Do you like a, like a cup of coffee before you go back? Mm, no. Oh, yes, yes, it would be nice. The kettle's boiling. Ah, oh, cups of tea, cups of coffee all day long was shocking. Breaks the monotony. Yeah, it does. Jacob and I were, were just saying the storm's been going ten days. Yes, oh, yes, I know. I come up here to walk across the hills, and here I am, like being in prison. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have said that. You've all been so kind. No, I know exactly how you feel. No, I don't think you do, Molly. Not exactly. James, what on earth are you doing here? It's, it's the middle of the night. It's only two o'clock. Why have you come down? I thought it was father. What are you doing? I'm leaving. Now? Yes, now. But why? In the middle of the night. Well, it's early in the night. There's a moon. Which will set in a couple of hours. There's plenty of stars. The sky's clear. Oh, look, you can't. You'll be lost. I was taught to make my way by a map and a compass. On snowshoes? Exactly. You've no idea how cold it is. It's below zero. Well, I must put up with that. Oh, please, start in the morning. It may be snowing in the morning. I don't think you realize what you're up against. I think I do. But you'll never make oh, it. Oh, of course I shall. After all, I'm only going to Clenithan. All right, go if you want to. But if you think by walking out into the night you can escape... Esca what do you mean, escape? Would you mind answering my question? You know what I mean. Oh, why pretend anymore? Well, which of us is pretending? Your name isn't Mr. James, is it? What exactly is it, then? Isn't your name Romford Smith? Well, let's have the rest. Well, don't try to frighten Molly, me. Molly, I'm not trying because to frighten you. Because I'm not you. frightened. I was, but I'm not anymore. I don't care. You can do what you like. I don't want to do anything. <laughs> oh, you're crying. Look. No, please, look. I'm terribly sorry. Look, look there's nothing to cry about. <laughs> it's reaction, I suppose. You are James Robford Smith, aren't you? Yes, I am. Selma Carrington's husband? Yes. But you, you killed her, didn't you? As a matter of fact, I didn't. Oh, oh, I'm so glad. Oh, God, it's... Oh, it's such a relief not to have to pretend anymore. Oh. Tell me, what was she like? Oh, what, Thelma? Oh, I don't know, it's a job to say. Well, you know the publicity stuff. Beautiful, successful, clever. Oh, but she had one overriding ambition, to be a great actress. <laughs> A really great actress. But she was. No, no, no. She never touched it. And she knew. In her own eyes, in spite of success, she was a failure. Well, you see, the way I see it, they come in two sorts. Either you remember the part they play and forget the actress, or you remember the actress even if you forget the part she played. The latter of the ones, you only get a couple of century. Women like Siddons, Ellen Terry, Bernard Doucet. You see what I mean? Yes, I think so. Well, that's who she wanted for company. And, well, she missed it somehow. Oh, well, I... Molly, our marriage was a great mistake. See, it was just... just two bodies. And we got to dislike each other. Then to hate each other. At least she hated me. I, I didn't hate her. I was about the only person who knew what was going on in her mind. I was sorry for her. Perhaps that's why she hated me. I wanted a divorce, but she wouldn't agree, so we just quarreled and quarreled. Oh, dear. Not a nice way to talk about the woman I was married to. You know, I've... I've never spoken of it before. Not to anybody. You see, I, I, I became... I became so edgy. Once or twice, I... I even said I'd like to murder her. But I didn't mean it, oh, you no, know. Of course you didn't. People hear of these things. They remember them. And she'd repeat my threats to our friends, all in fun. 
yet not in fun, if you see what I mean. Yes, I think I understand. Well, people weren't quite sure just how cruel I really was. Uh, oh, have you heard about that wretched decoration I won? Yes. It's why I escaped from a prison camp in Norway and had to kill two guards. But, I mean, that was war. That sort of thing, you see, one gets a certain reputation. I'm not a killer. But I, I, I couldn't do that anymore. I, I, I can't even shoot a pheasant these no, days. You don't need to explain all this. No, no, I'd, li I'd like to. That night, before she was due to go to the theater, we, s we said some terrible things to each other. And finally, I, I, I said I'd leave her. And she said if I did, she'd commit suicide. Oh, she didn't mean it. That was acting. Well, I said if she felt that way, get on with it. My old commander knife was in a drawer. I took it out, flung it on the bed, and said something like, good idea, do it with that. And then I walked out. See, I was in a head of a temper. I really did mean to leave her, but I, I, I couldn't go like that. You see, so I went to the local, knocked back a couple of pints, and sort of calmed down, decided to go back. I was going to tell her how sorry I was for what I'd said. Oh, I hadn't been out ten minutes, or, or certainly not more than a quarter of an hour. And she was dead, lying on the bed with my knife in her heart. Well, then I, I, I just ran. But why? Oh, well, why do people run but away? But as long as you hadn't done but it. But everybody would believe I'd done it. I reckon the evidence against me is so strong, I believe myself I'd kill if I didn't know better. I even wondered if I had a blackout and had killed her. Now, look, was there anybody else in the house? No, 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 it's my bad luck. The last person to see us was Hansen. Who? Oh, an awful old woman who looked after us. She'd been Thelma's dresser since she started. It was about the only person who really loved her. Well, I was poisoned to her, of course. Yes, I, I'd like to know all she said to the police. Well, look, could, could anybody have, have, have got into the house while you were out? Well, they must have done. Have you any idea who? No, none. I mean, I can think of a hundred people who hated her. Any of those might have killed her. But whoever he is, he's lucky. The spotlight's on me. Why, why did you come here? I mean, where were you going? Well, I came up here because it's the most isolated place in the country I know. But Mr. Jens, there isn't a place in the hills you could go without being seen somewhere by, by a shepherd or, or a farmer. Yes, but as I've told you, I know these hills. I, I met a chap out on the border up there during the war. He'd take me in. I, I could stay there as long as I liked and then, well, go to Ireland, perhaps on a Cardigan Bay fishing boat. Then later, America, I thought. Oh, I was mad to start running. But now it would be mad to stop. I, 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 I know what I'm doing. And if they get me now, I don't stand in earthly. I'm the scapegoat, but I'm not going to be caught. I'd sooner fall asleep in the snow. Oh, no, no. Well, it's, it's in the open air, anyhow. Are you determined to go? Well, there's no real option. Go and wish me luck. Won't you? Please. Now, look, please, don't, don't cry again. I'm an idiot. Look, I don't want to remember you crying. Try to manage a smile. I don't, I don't think I can. Oh, yes, you can. Huh. That's better. Hold it. Oh, you're ridiculous. Oh, Molly. Yes. Oh, I don't know if I ought to say this. It won't do any good. Oh, I can't see it does much harm. I'd like you to know. You see, all this time I've been here... I've been falling in love with you. I think it started the very first night I saw you. It's been going on all the time. Yeah, perhaps I wouldn't have told you. Nothing I can do about it. There it is. If ever you think of me, perhaps you'll remember. I'd like you to remember. I, 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 I don't know what to say. Oh, well, don't say anything. You, you see, being shut up here with you, I... I've been afraid of you. Well, there was nothing to be afraid of. No, up, up to an hour ago, I thought you were a murderer. Now you know I'm not. Oh, I can't tell you how happy I am. It's, it's like a terrible weight gone. But you see, in, in spite of what I knew, or what I thought I knew about you, I liked you. It's as much as I ask. I'll always remember you. Well... Now we'll make that raid on your larder. What? You hear something? What's his father? He can't be up. But he's coming downstairs, I think. Oh, but that's mad. What on earth? I'm late. 
Thought I'd been up hours ago. Father. Hours ago. Now, what have you come down for? Jacob can't come today. It's snowing. I'll have to milk. Jacob's not well. I think he's getting old. What shall I do? Take it easy. Oh, my boots. Where are my no, boots? Father, you shouldn't have got up. You've been ill. I've got to milk. I'll see to the milk. Jacob can't come. Well, I can do Jacob's jobs, Mr. Mosley. You? Yes, you? that's right. You remember, James. James? Yes, now, you'd be better in bed, Mr. Mosley. Animals must be fed. The horse. There's only one horse. My grandfather used to keep five horses. Yes, I see to everything. There's nothing to worry about. Now, look. Put a rug or something round him and slip us off. He's late, rather. Well, we'll see to everything. You'll feel better in bed now. Come on, I'll give you a hand to take him upstairs. That's... Oh. Come on. It's very cold this morning. You lean on me, Father. Uh, Put your arm on my shoulder. That's Denny. right. Uh, Come on now. Gently. Please. Now, careful. It's all, all right. right. Not much further to go mm. now. Let me get you back into bed again. There we are. Gently does it. Uh, but he's delirious. Yes, I'm afraid his temperature's gone up quite a bit. Well, you, you wondered when he was ill before, but not like that. God, I hope he hasn't got pneumonia. I think he has. Now, look, you must have somebody here. He may be a handful. No, I can manage. No, not what he's like he is. Well, normally, it'd be easy to get help, but everybody's so much to do because of the storm. Look, shall I go down and knock up Jacob? Yes. Well, oh, no. Oh, I, 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 I don't know. Why does this have to happen now? Oh, look, you should be going. Don't, don't worry about us. I'm not leaving while your father's like that. But you must. Look, I don't want you to be caught. I shan't be caught. If you hadn't been here, I would have managed without but you. But I am here, and your father needs a doctor. But we could never get a doctor. Well, who is your doctor? Dr. Breen. The young man? No, over at 60, and he's not strong himself. Well, even if I could get a message through, I, I, I couldn't ask How him. How far? Caresson, about four, seven or eight miles. All right, I'll go. You... Mm. I can do it on my snowshoes. Please. Oh, it's you... easy. Try a run for my endurance test. Anyway, we, we can't possibly ask him to come. But we won't. But he knows your father. He'll have a good idea of the trouble. I'll get what drugs are needed and full instructions. He couldn't do much more if he did Look, come. You ought to be on your way to your friend. No, there's plenty of time. Oh, I want to refuse your help. No, it can't be done, Molly. I need it. Oh, you are good to me, Mr. James. Mr. James? I don't think I could call you Mr. Romford Smith now. I should hope not. Well, my name is James. Yes, of course it is. It always has been James. Never Jimmy or Jim, just very formal and proper. James. Oh, James. That's it. Keep on trying. Doesn't sound so much as if you're talking to the butler after half a dozen go. <laughs> Twelve hours, Oh, Jacob. had a bite at the doctor's. No danger. If he got there. He got there, my girl. Do anything. That boy only put his mind to it. Can't do wrong in your eyes, can he, Jacob? What about yourself? I got the feeling we've been mates all our lives. It's been shut up in the snow together. No good you standing in the window like that, my girl. That won't bring him quicker. The sky's getting dark again. More snow coming. I won't be sorry myself to see him back. If he doesn't. I'll never forgive myself. Here, come. Pray don't snow any more yet. Jacob! Jacob, look over there, below the trees. That's him. Yes, it is, isn't it? That's him. Oh, them watches of his. Slow but sure. Walking like a duck on dinner place. Oh, Jacob. Yeah, yeah, it is me who got a kiss. Are you all right? Oh, yes, yes, I'm all right. A bit tired, that's all. Well, I've got everything. Written instructions. Enough, enough M&B to last the summer. Oh, now, now, please don't cry. Come on, everything will be all right now. You'll see, everything will be all right. ask about your father. Only last night we heard he was so bad. Oh, my word, the snow has slowed us up. Why, he's on the mend now. Oh, that's good. 
Billy the Flynn was saying he was like to die, is not? Oh, that was days ago. Good Lord. He was. He's very ill, but uh, Mr. James went down to Dr. Bream and fetched medicine. Went to the doctors? My God, he must have had a rough trip. Yes, I think he did. He went on snowshoes. Oh. Wish I'd have known. I'd have gone for you. Oh, thank you, Tom. Anyway, it's, it's all right now. Uh, ha have a cup of tea, warm you. Oh, thanks. Is he getting on, this Mr. James? I could see him about here from the hill. Oh, he, he's all right. You've got a belly full of him, all right. Sorry, oh, he, he couldn't leave with the weather we've had. You still afraid of him? Afraid of Oh, oh, that was silly. There was nothing to be afraid of. No, you, you know that idea I had about him being the man who killed his wife was, was all wrong. Was it? Mm, a silly mistake. But there was all sorts of clues, wasn't there? Like the paper you lost and the wireless you left around. Oh, no, well, I, I find the paper and it was Father who left the set switched you on. You don't say. He's only got one hand, too, like the chap the police is looking oh, for. Thousands of men who fought in the war have only one hand. You found his initials on his pajamas. Oh, well, I made a mistake there. It was J.B.S. But his name's James. That doesn't start with S. Well, perhaps they aren't his own. You should have asked him, then. Tom, what's the matter with you? Matter? There's nothing the matter. No, I... I... Got a bit worked up that day, and, and you were here. He's a mighty and... nice chap all of a sudden, isn't he? He's a proper lamb amongst us wolves, isn't he? Oh, what do you mean? You've had enough time to find out. You and him here by yourselves every night, and your father in bed? You haven't a very nice mind, Tom. I'm not so damn silly as you oh, think. Oh, aren't you? What's been going on between you and him, Molly? Do I have to answer that? You're very sure all of a sudden he isn't the chap the police want? Yes, I am. You've got a short memory, a different story you had to tell the time the storm was starting. I remember the way you were that night. You were scared to death. Yes, and what did you do about it? Fat lot of chance I had to do anything with hundreds of ewes under the snow. If you'd been in danger... Well, as it happens, I wasn't. It was imagination. Been a broadcast on the wireless for this, Mr. James Romford Smith. Oh, did you hear it? Another wireless since the storm started. I was in the Crinant, and one of them said about it. He's a chap, all right, you know. Well, why didn't you say he was here, then? I got more sense than that. There's something else, too. There's a picture of him in the Sunday paper a couple of weeks back. Well, there haven't been any Sunday papers, not up here. The police went down to Raven's Hill one night to try and get some fags, and they put a piece of one page on some candles he bought, same time. Only by luck, I saw it. Uh, have you got it? Yes, I have. Yeah, look at that. You see what it says? Mr. James Romford Smith, whose whereabouts the police are anxious to trace. <laughs> it's not a bit like him. Well, I reckon it is. But you haven't seen him. I saw him in your yard one day and went to the shop. Well, I'll fetch him if you want to have a good no, look. No, thank you. I'm not so fond of his company as some people. Oh, Tom, don't be silly. He's nothing to me, nothing at all. Once the weather clears, he'll leave and I shan't ever see him again. You never said a truer word. Well, if you don't believe me, that's all about it. I tell you, he isn't the man the police want. You ought to know, you and him being such good friends. Well, if you think he is, you'd better do something about it. Since he saved Father's life, I wouldn't want to. No, I know you wouldn't. Oh, you're just jealous. I must be going. Thank you for the cup of tea. Don't mention it. Hope your father will be better soon. Oh, Tom, please don't do anything silly. I won't do anything silly, don't you worry. Well, what are you going to do? Likely I tell you that, isn't it? You must think me a fool. Perhaps I'd better not answer that. James? Yes? James? Hmm? Did you hear all that? Yes. I'm dreadfully sorry. No, no, no don't give it another thought. See, when I told him that, I... I was terribly afraid of him. Well, naturally. You see, I, I had nobody else to tell. Father was ill and Jacob's too old, and he was the only one I could turn yes, to. Yes, yes, don't worry about it. Oh, great. Oh. oh, he sounds very clever to me. He's going to make trouble. Yes, well, he can't do much at the moment. We're still snowbound. He's still tied up with lost sheep and ponies. Did you tell the police you were here? No, they'd find out sooner or later, anyhow. They're looking for you, James. I think it's important you should go as soon as possible. No, no. The weather's all wrong, yes? It's no worse than when you were going to leave. Oh, I'm getting more canny. That trip to the doctor made me think. I'm no worse off than I was before. But yes, you are, because now they'll have a starting point. But for Tom Morgan, you could be almost anywhere. Yes, yes, I see that. Oh, You're worried, aren't you? I'm dreadfully worried. The longer you stay, the more risk they'll catch up with you. I'll be all right. Look through the window. It's snowing again. Yes, there's no end to it. They don't want me to start in that. I don't want you to start at all. 
No, neither do I, really. Oh, I wish you'd stay and see oh, the we've things. We've had that out. I started running. And once you start running, you have to keep on as long as you can. On the other hand, if I hadn't started running, I'd never have met you. Oh, James. So I'm glad I started. Jacob says he heard they've cut the road for a few miles up the New Pool Road. Oh. They did it before, but it filled in. One day it won't fill in. Then they'll cut some more. Uh, first suitable night I go. But I know now I can't make it if there's a blizzard. Now, look, young Morgan won't do anything yet, will he? I don't know. Oh, will he? I don't know what he'll do. I thought once that if you went, I'd be able to manage him, you know, make him keep quiet, but I'm not sure anymore. Don't you feel sometimes, this storm, it's become real, doing things? Mm. Spiteful. Spiteful and cruel. It's been so long, it's become a threat to me. It's like some... Horrible old pagan god. Well, it did bring me here, you know, Molly, to find you. Yes, I know, James. And now it's going to hold you here till they catch you. That ham was good. Smells like the pastures of paradise. He's right, you know. It was a wonderful meal. Poor could tell a man to be without a nose. <laughs> He'd certainly look more odd. I mean to smell with. Yes. Snowing heaven's hard again. You notice something? That snow's going soft like. I reckon we're near the end of it. You really think so? A lot of water in the river, too. Some of it is melting. But one more good fall, I'd say, then stop. Oh, we can always hope. A lot of people about this morning. People? Well, the boys. What boys? Why, our boys around here. Who else? Who have you seen? From Morgan and his pals, his two brothers, and that boy from Nanser, and Arthur the Cindy. Got their guns, some of them. Said they were out after hares. That's a bare-faced lie, because there's no Morgan born who'd waste a cutties on a hare when you can catch him with your bare hands now, all this year. Not as the poor critters is worth catching. They're nothing but skin and bone by now. James, James, I wonder, would you take this <coughs> hot cup of tea up to Father? Yes, certainly. Yes, then you can bring his tray down if he's finished with it. Right. I'll open the door for you. Look, I, I must talk to Jacob. You mean I'm not to hurry? Can I tell him about you? Mm, you tell him what you like. Because you will need him on our side. Now, look, don't get yourselves involved in my affairs any deeper. Oh, please. Oh, all right. Jacob. I'm listening. What are the Morgan boys and those others hanging around for? Oh, no good, I won't. They got work at home plenty. Now, listen, Jacob, I've got to talk to you and there isn't much time. Time's the one thing God give us plenty of. Now, tell Jacob what's worrying you, my girl. It's James. They're after him. Well, he ain't no hare, nor he won't run to be chased, I'm thinking. No, he's wanted by the police. Oh, a lot of us would be if all of us know about us. Do you like him? You do, seemingly. I ain't blind. Oh, oh call to bless. He's as tidy a man as you'd wish to meet. Him and me's got on somewhat very well, often. You see, something awful happened. His wife was murdered. Was she now? Well, oh. It was that actress, you remember? Oh, oh, I remember. And our James was her husband. Well, fancy that. Well, now. the police think he killed her. Do they? Indeed? Well, he didn't do it, so he's trying to get away. You sure he didn't do it, Molly? Yes. He's told you? Yes, I'm sure of him, Jacob. Well, then, so am I. Where's them Morgan boys coming to well, it? When he first came, I, I, I thought he was the murderer, so I told Tom Morgan. Tut, 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 if you told well, me I, now... I thought Tom would help me, but... He wouldn't then or couldn't, and now I don't know what he's doing. Uh, watching cat and mouse. Jealous, that's what Tom is. Good reason come to that. Oh, Jacob. Oh, to see yourself, not the same girl these days. And the way you looks at Mr. James, proper cheeky. Now, the point is, what are we going to do? Well, can't Mr. James slip off uh, uh, somewhere uh, tonight? No, it'll be snowing again. And if it isn't Tom or some of them will be watching. Uh, and if we knew what they was up to. The time I was getting out, I think. Well, what are you going to do? Well, if the boys is about, they'd be down in the buildings for shelter and a smoke sometime, should it be? They might talk. Oh, Jacob, be careful. Well, don't you fret. Artful as a badger I am. I'll go on a bit crousy about Mr. James. Too much of a gent a lot for me. I know them boys. They'll be turning themselves inside out in a crack. You two stop in and keep out of sight. I'll be back sometime. <laughs> Oh, 
Have they told you anything, Jacob? You don't look very pleased. I've been talking to young Reese in the barn. He was still in cold, poor boy. He was afraid to say too much. I didn't let on I knew a thing. You know you're taking an awful lot of risks on my account. Oh, that's my business, at it? All right. Now, look, what's their game? Now, watching you don't get away. Mm. It come out bit by bit like sardines out of a tin you opened with the scissors. Seems the new pool road has been clear now. There's less snow lower down. I think Tom sent young George to let the police know you were here. Oh, no. Oh, yes, my girl. Well, how long will they take? Oh, it depends on the weather. They think somebody will be up today, because he's let out. They don't think to hang about after dark. Today? You put Tom back up and he's got thinking, Mr. James, be gone if he didn't do something. Oh, damn. They think they got you cornered. Yes, they're doing very nicely. Well, what are we going to do? We must do something. Well, what exactly? Jacob, how many are there? Well, I can't tell for certain. Three Morgan boys and him from Nanserth. Arthur Lindy's gone, but, but Jim Powell was on the hill now, just in his place. The boys will stand together. This is better sport to them than spearing a salmon. Oh, yes, I'm sure. Exactly how far in wonder they prepared to go. How far? Well, one had a gun, you said. Oh, there'll be more than one, no danger. Would they use them? Not much indeed. Guns, that's play. That's showing off, acting big sorted. They are six to one, mind. Pull you down, they could lay dogs on a sheep. Right. There's one way of finding out. What are you going to do? I put my coat on and have a little walk, just to see but what happens. Please don't. Only a short just walk. stay here. Don't go out. Look, I want to find out what they're up to. But Jacob's done Look, that. I want to see if they'll try to stop me or oh, merely please, follow. Please, I wish you wouldn't. They'll start a fight. Oh, and... there won't be any fight. Please, I'm afraid. No, no, no. No, you're not. I am, Jim. No, no, I don't am. Don't be afraid. It's halfway to being beaten when you're afraid. There's, there's nothing to be afraid of. Look, I'll take that haversack to make it look as if I might be going. You watch her. There was Now, you two stay here. Don't come out. You'll be able to see through the windows. I feel like coming out with a gun myself. Ah, oh, guns won't be needed. Here goes. Hey, just a minute. Oh, hello. Would you be Tom Morgan? You going somewhere? Well, yes, I am, actually. Leaving? That's right. You made a mistake, mate. I beg your pardon? You're not leaving. You're staying here. You can't go. Oh, I assure you I can. Take a look around. There's five of us here to say you can't. But why on earth not? You can't, that's all. You mean to say that you five are going to use force to stop me going? Well, I suppose you have a reason for this peculiar behavior. you got a reason, all right. Oh, I'd very much like to hear it. I bet you would. Someone waiting to ask you some questions, Mr. James Romford Smith. Oh, my name is James. Ah, your name's James Romford Smith, and the police want you, don't they? What on earth are you talking about? Not the fancy talk. You're not going from here. Get that? Not till the police come. Unless you go back in the house and stay there. If you don't, we'll tie you up in the barn. Oh, well. Doesn't seem to be much good arguing, does it? What did they say? Morgan knows who I am. I have to stay here until the police arrive. I'll go and talk to them. No, it's no good. Tom meant no pal to the police. You've got his knife in you. Oh, pity. That's how it is. But you can't. Well, they're all round. I mean, short of taking one of your guns and shooting but my way out. Is... Oh, of course I wouldn't. It's snowing again. It may drive them in. Will it delay the police? I doubt they'll get it very hard down at Newpool, and they'll have to come back to drive them boys in. I think... I think I'd go up and have a word with a boss. Well, what about? No, don't worry him. Leave him out of this. Oh, there's something I want to ask Look, him. I will not have him worried. Something I got to ask him. What is he up to? I don't know, but leave him alone. He's shrewd. Perhaps he's thought of a way to get you out of here. Look, are your snowshoes in here? Yes, in the scullery. I can only make a start. Oh, my fault. Oh, don't be so silly. Why did I tell Tom who you were? It's all this horrible storm. I think Jacob's coming down. I reckon I can fix things for you. How? That's my business. You tend to your own side of it. I'm going out now. You stop where you are and look after it yourself. You're not to come out whatever happens. No matter what you hear, don't you come. It is all arranged. Me and the boss has fixed it. Well, what's all the mystery? No mystery. Simple as ABC. You'll see. Now, look, I, I don't want you in trouble on my account, Jacob. No trouble. It is a pleasure. When the time comes, you go. Slip out by the back. Then nick round the hill there, back of the house. You'll be out of sight in no time. Molly, you see, he gets away. I don't like this. You don't like waiting here for Newport police either. Go on, Jacob. Whatever it is, do I'll it. Do it in but a crack. Time's getting on. There's more snow. It's getting dark again. Well, so long, boy. Well, so long, Jacob. And good luck, my boy. 
What is he up to? I don't know, but he does understand that lot outside. He can handle them. Whatever he's doing, he's got Father's blessing. Look, I think if you want to escape, you, you ought to get your things on. They're all here. This doesn't seem quite real to me. Well, you know what you're doing? Oh, yes. It's going to be a bad night. Oh, very likely. Oh, I wish you'd stay, tell them the truth and fight it out. Take a chance. No, no, it's no good. It's too late. Look, you, you, you do understand. Yes. Oh, I wish I could give you something to remember by. I don't need anything to remember by, James. No. Not I. What the devil? Now, this is it. Wait, wait I'm going to look. Yes. Yes, the buildings are on fire. On fire? No, no, stop, James. Don't go to help them. Can't you see? He and Father agreed about this. They're worth little, but there are animals, and all those are farmer's sons. They've got to help it's him. Mad. No, don't be silly. They'll put it out. It's, it's a farm, and a farm is the most important thing in their well, life. Are you sure he did this on purpose? Yes, I'm sure. Now go now, quickly. Up the hill. Keep the house between you and the yard till you're around the breast of it, and then you can head west. The poor light in the snow will hide you in five minutes. Well, this is goodbye. No, please, don't say it. Don't say it. Just go. Don't, don't look back, James. Just go now while I've got my hands over my face. Please. Goodbye, James. Mostly. Well, that's all right, Sergeant Lewis. Boys happen to be around and they soon put it out. It was awful, old mess, indeed. Oh, it's only a few barns. It should have been rebuilt years ago. Father's always talking about doing it. Now, all the animals are safe. How did it uh, happen? Well, I, I think Jacob said he dropped a match on some straw when he was lighting a hurricane lamp. Uh, he's going to have a red face. Oh, he doesn't need to. Oh, but... You, you didn't come about the fire. We did not. We were all day getting here. We and Thomas and that young Davis, one of the new constables. It got a fire out just as we arrived. Um, that gang look as black as weeps. Which is uh, Romford Smith? Who? Romford Smith. James Romford Smith. He's the chap whose actress wife was murdered or uh, haven't you heard? Yes, yes, I heard. I know most of the local boys, but I, I can't see the man I want. Look, you'd better come in the house. Yeah, no. Very good. Is he coming in? Who? Mr. Romford Smith. Uh, he isn't here. Not here? No. But we were told we, with information he's been staying here. He was here. He's gone. Gone? This weather? Gone? Oh, no. After me coming up here, nearly killed me. Too, too old for this or a luck I am. When did he go? Today. What time? I can't remember. Perhaps we could catch up with him. Oh, no, you couldn't. Well, where's he gone? I don't know. You don't know. Miss Worsley, they've been looking for that man all over the country. Then I find him and he's gone and you don't know where. I'm sorry, Sergeant. Well, know about his wife, Thelma Carrington, yes. the actress? Yes, it happened just before the storm started. They've been trying to find him ever since. Between you and me, it was thought at first he'd had something to do with it. But, of course, once the woman confesses, you're obviously in the clear. They oh, thought stop, that... stop. What did you say? The woman, the... What woman? The woman that killed Thelma Carrington. A woman killed her? Well, didn't you know? We've had no news here at all for weeks. Oh, this Miss Hanson, she was sort of dresser and maid to the Carrington. Middle-aged woman, she was devoted to her mistress, but jealous as blazes and crazy. I mean, she was then, only nobody knew it. Miss Carrington was always nasty to her, it seems. She's right round the bend now, in a lunatic asylum. Look here, Molly, what did Rumford Smith say about his wife? Didn't say anything. Oh, he didn't. Well, look, Miss Carrington quarreled with this Hanson woman... Got fed up with her and was going to kick her out. It's a long yarn. I can't tell the whole of it now, but the poor old coat just went crackers and stuck a knife into her mistress. When she knew she'd killed her, she just blew her top. She went and domed up straight away. Hey, you all right? Oh, yes, yes. You've gone white. Uh, no, no, I'm all right. No, you didn't make that story up, did make you? Make it up? Why should I? Anyway, you've seen the pip. Oh, no, of course you haven't. So what you really want to do is to let 
Mr. Rumford Smith know about his wife's death? Well, naturally. Well, there hasn't been sight nor sign of him. There was an idea once the handsome woman had done something to him. She didn't like him. If I could only get hold of him... Nobody will ever get hold of him. What you told until me? Until they find his body in the snow. Now, let's have a better sense. Listen here. You listen to me. James... Well, that's Mr. Rumford Smith. He thought he was being blamed for his wife's murder. Well, I told you right now, at the listen. first... listen. Of... He's been trying to get away. He's been trying to get away from here. Only the storm stopped him. And then father was ill and that stopped him. And then the storm stopped him again. Tom Morgan and his friends stopped him. Well, an hour ago he left and he's... He's heading for the Cardiganshire side. Tonight? He'll never do it. Why, there's more snow on the way, and it'll be worse there He'll than anywhere. Do something. Stop him. Catch him. Molly, how can well, I? Follow him. Follow him? Look, Gal, if I had half a dozen pecked men, and if they were equipped for the trip, and if they were sure of the way he went, and if there wasn't the risk of a hell of a blizzard tonight, my Gal, you know damn well I can't do anything. He's got to start. It's near dark. If I send those two chaps, they'd lose their lives. No. no, you're quite right. You can't catch him. He, he might get through to where he's going. Do you believe that? Oh, no. I, I can't warn anybody even. Most of the lines in the hills are down. Hey, what are you putting the coat on for? I'm going out. You can't. I'm going to the top of the hill. Act tidy now. Take the old coat off and make the boys a cup of tea. You can make one. We'll all feel better after a strong cup of tea. Look, I want to go to the top of the hill the way he went. I, I might be able to see him before darkness falls. Now, listen, I'll tell you what I'll do. My boys can go up the bed of the stream a couple of miles. Tom Morgan will go with them, help show the way. The snow will have blown down the dingle and it won't be so deep. They can go to the top. And if they see this man, they can holler to him. And do you think they can head him off like that? I'm doing the only thing I can. Me, I'm whacked. Me and you'll stop here and have a strong cup of tea and wait to see what happens. Perhaps I think of someone else. Take your coat off now. You send your men, Sergeant Lewis, and then you can make tea or you can follow me up now, the hill. Now, listen, Because don't... that's where I'm going. Oh. Obstinate little girl, and now you're an obstinate pig. It's coming down thick. Nice trip back to town for us. You might have to sleep in your kitchen in. Molly, you might as well talk to the wind. You won't see a thing in this, my girl. Not even a black spot away over the other hill. Oh, the best of time and energy, no good talking to us, sweet Hutton. Are you know to this tonight, poor devil? Yes. There, there, Molly. Now we're over the brow. There's nothing to see. Give it to them, boys. Come on, my maid. You've got to be brave now. Can't see a hundred yards in this. Killing ourselves, standing out in this wind. You come back now. There's your dad. All right. Come on, then. You take my hand now. Wait. What? Look there. There's somebody coming. Well, I'll go to Caddy for the laser trap time. Yes, it's James. 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 Quick, Sergeant, he's fallen. I told you. Hurry. You live in Delhi, Molly. They're coming. Yes, we're coming. James. It's all right, James. It's me. You're safe. We got to you just as you fell. You're back, James. Molly? Huh? Molly? Molly, I've come back. I changed my mind. Decided I've, I've got to fight. See, I didn't realize until I left you, but I've, Molly, I've, I've just got to fight. Up one chance in a thousand, I suppose. But if I win, I, I get you. James, it's all right. The police came. You won't have to fight. They know who killed her. They know? They know it wasn't you. It was that awful woman. Woman? Hanson. They've known all the time. 
Oh, I'm dreaming. No, it's not a dream, James. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Perfectly sure. Well, that makes this quite the nicest storm I've ever been out in. Oh, James. Oh, darling James. <clears throat> um, excuse me, sir. Are you Mr. James Rumford Smith? Mm. Look, um, are you Mr. James... Yes, sir. Are you Mr. James Rump... Ah, oh, well... <laughs> Oh, oh, I, I say, I'm sorry, what's that? Oh, let me introduce myself, officer. Uh, my name is Romford Smith. <laughs> you know, sir, I... I thought it was. The Storm was an adaptation for radio of the novel by H.L.V. Fletcher. This was the cast. Mr. James, Oscar Quitek, Molly Mosley, Mary Wimbush, John Mosley, Ivo Maddox, Tom Morgan, Wynne Thomas, Sergeant Lewis, Yayan Reese williams Jacob Hughes, Prusser Williams. The play, which was recorded in our Cardiff studios, was produced by Herbert Davis. Our next programme begins in three minutes' time, at a quarter to five. Meanwhile, here's Mandovani and his orchestra to play the Moulin Rouge theme.